Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Music Player Daemon with BitPerfect Audio on FreeBSD. Uh, the Music Player Daemon is a sort of server that runs on your computer and scans your uh, a particular folder for all your music. Um, and then you can use a client um, application to connect to the server and play music. There are different clients available for the desktop and for mobile devices as well, uh, as well as programs like Kodi. Um, basically what I'll do is I'll switch across to the terminal and um, show you I've got a folder full of music there and um, I can open the NC MPC um, client um, for the MPD um, music server um, and then browse my library um, and you know play some audio. Um, what I'm going to do first of all is actually show you how to set up um, and install the Music Player Daemon on um, FreeBSD. And the reason you want to use FreeBSD um, as opposed to Linux um, for installing MPD is because um, quite frequently when you update um, programs like FFmpeg or different audio, audio codecs, um, MPD will break and you'll have to reinstall it and um, is, is a real pain, it will break constantly on Linux I've found. Um, also the other reason is um, the audio system on FreeBSD um, OSS um, is the best audio system I've come across on any operating system on Mac, Windows, Linux, anything. Um, it's really really good and um, the quality of the audio that you get is just far superior to anything else. And what I'll do is I'll switch across to how you set up the sound card on FreeBSD. Um, so actually installing FreeBSD isn't difficult. Um, basically you have a, you know, you download the um, ISO and burn it to a USB drive or a disc and um, boot up from it and it's got a very simple installer. And to set up MPD you don't need to install a graphical desktop or anything. Um, you just um, basically need to um, install Xorg um, and then what I'll do is I'll show you how to set up, set up the sound card and um, and other things you need to get it going. So um, first of all with FreeBSD what you need to do is um, edit your bootloader file and um, because I'm going to be using um, an external USB um, DAC um, what I need to do is um, add this line here SND HDA load equals yes, but I also need to um, load another driver so that the USB DAC works and um, What we're going to be doing is um, bit perfect audio will allow us to pass um, The audio to the DAC without resampling it. So for instance if you have um, a vinyl rip, you know as a FLAC file that you're playing with MPD that's 96 um, kilohertz um, by default um, it will get resampled down to 44.1 um, when it goes to your DAC so what I'm going to do is show you how to get around that um, so that the audio is passed through at 96 kilohertz or whatever the rate is um, without it being resampled so first of all we need to have a look at the bootloader configuration file so if I come across um, and go across to um, boot uh, loader dot conf. Um, the important um, lines down here, this line here, SND HDA load equals yes. That's the first line we need. And the second line, because I'm using a um, USB um, audio device, um, is SND U audio underscore load equals um, yes. So those are the two um, things we need to add to our bootloader file. Um, that's the first step. Um, the second step um, is to actually find the um, device that you're going to be using, um, the audio output device. So the way you do that on FreeBSD is by uh, running cat dev SND stat and that will actually show you um, all the PCM audio devices and you can see here this bottom one here PCM 5 um, play um, is default so that's um, my default um, 
uh, output audio device. So after we found the audio device, um, the other thing that you can do is um, you can run dmessage. Um, so what you can do is you can plug in the audio device and device, and then as root you'd run um, audio uh, dmessage, and basically what that will do is that will show you. Um, the, the device that's been um, connected um, and that will give you some information about it. Um, so once we know what the audio device is, um, what we're going to need to do is um, edit another file um, which is the, uh, I believe it's the except, I need to go to the root, etc. Stupid, excuse me. Um, Etc. Is it the sys? Sys off. Yeah. Okay. This is the next step. What we need to do is um, set our audio device. Um, and what we've got down here is this first one here: hw .snd default underscore auto equals one. Um, that will basically um, allow FreeBSD to um, automatically use any audio device you've got plugged in. Um, but that's not sort of strictly necessary for this setup but the first the, the important thing we need to do is set the default um, output audio device and in FreeBSD it's listed as HWSND default underscore unit equals five and the five um, corresponds to the um, audio device here we found with cat dev SND stat so first of all we find the correct PCM device and then in our um, sysctl.config file, um, what we need to do is um, add the um, default audio device. And you can do that by either directly editing the um, file, um, the executor um, sysctl.config file. Um, but the um, FreeBSD actually has a um, built-in command um, for editing the file, um, sysrc. Um, so what you can do is instead of editing the file as root, you can run sysrc um, um, and then for instance, you would put in the command like so, and switch across, equals uh, five like that. So that would actually append um, this bit of code to your um, etc. Um, sysctl.config file. Um, so that's um, the preferred way of doing it. Uh, but you can also edit the file manually. Um, so after we've set the default um, unit to the correct PCM device, um, there's two other things we need, need to do. And that's to set the... Um, you can see here we've got dev PCM5 play vchans equals zero. Um, and again, this PCM5 um, corresponds to um, the default audio device we've set. And what a vchan is, is it basically allows um, the sound system to play multiple sources at once. So for instance, if you were playing um, uh, some music, and uh, you opened up a browser and started playing a, um, a YouTube video, it would play the two bits of audio at once. Um, but what we have to do um, for bit perfect audio is set the V channels to zero. And what that does is that basically sets the sound system so it only plays one audio source at once. So when you set the V channels to zero, um, if you're playing a bit of audio um, with a music player, and then you switch to YouTube and start playing a video, there won't be any audio because um, you're already using um, the, it's only got one audio sort of VCHAN, it's only got one channel um, to play the audio. And we need to set that to zero because otherwise the bit perfect audio won't work. Um, so the next step we need to do is um, set the bit perfect audio to equaling one. And again, what you need to do is this has to correspond to the um, audio device um, that you're setting up, um, which was the fifth PCM device in our case, and we set um, bit perfect um, to one. Um, so once we've done that, and we've got the audio um, actually um, set up to play music, is to actually install MPD, um, MPC, 
and NC MPC. Um, now, if you search for um, MPD, um, you'll actually notice it's not listed. And so that had me stumped a while. Um, so um, the correct name is actually Music PD. So when you want to install um, the Music Player Daemon on FreeBSD, you have to install Music PD. And the same goes for MPC. So um, normally you'd search for um, MPC. Um, and it's um, MPC here, Library of Complex Numbers. No, that's not what we want. Um, so the correct uh, package name um, is Music PC. Um, so to inst to get set up, what we're going to do is as root, we'd run doas or sudo um, install music pd uh, music pc and nc mpc. Um, so once we've got those packages installed, um, what we need to do is um, configure um, the music player daemon um, config file. Um, and then also set up NCMPC. Um, so on FreeBSD, um, the configuration file for music, um, the music player daemon is in, um, I believe it's etc. local, oh, um, is it user local etc. I think, user local etc. Um, music player daemon config. Okay. Um, so the first thing you need to do when you're setting up MPD is actually set up the music directory. Um, so that's the directory where you have all your music. So in my case, that would be um, that directory there, the music directory in my home folder. Um, the other thing that you need to do with um, MPD is in your um, home folder, I'll switch across, um, you actually need to manually create these files before you um, start MPD um, because otherwise it will complain that um, it's missing configuration files. So what you'd normally do is um, you'd create the MPD directory um, like so and then you would uh, run touch um, touch um, MPD. Uh, for, for all of these different files, um, this play you'd also create the playlists directory, um, and that is basically where you'd store um, MPU playlists um, for radio stations and things like that. So after you've created um, all the files that you need, um, you then specify um, the location. Um, for instance, the play playlist, um, the database, the log file. Um, and also the the other thing that we're doing on um, Unix is actually um, setting the socket. So um, with um, MPD player, what you can do is you can actually set it to um, bind to an address. Um, but on Unix, what we're going to do is actually um, set it to bind to a socket, a Unix socket, which I've found to be a bit works a bit better. Um, so we'll actually, we create this socket file here in the MPD directory um, and you can specify things like ports and um, gapless playback um, but if I scroll down here um, this is where you set the um, audio output device and um, it's got um, outputs for other you know also and stuff like that but we're looking at OSS here so we don't comment this section here for OSS and um, th this is basically because my um, USB DAC, um, it, the volume is on the DAC, um, that's why I have the um, mixer controls um, uh, commented out. But you can also um, create shoutcast um, streams, um, uh, so you can basically use MPD to actually broadcast a stream, uh, which is nice. So. Um, those are some of the settings we need to go through um, in the music player daemon is setting the um, 
directory to scan for all the music, um, the location of the playlists folder, the database and um, other settings, and then the audio output device here. So once we got that set up, um, the other thing that you need to do with um, MPD is um, actually um, on FreeBSD is set the music player daemon to start. Um, so if I come across to um, etc. System systems no um, RC config. Um, okay, so in your um, RC config file, um, that's your etc. RC config file. What you do is um, you have music PD enabled equals yes. Um, so that will basically start the service um, when the computer boots up. Um, so normally on FreeBSD, um, you if you don't have a um, if you don't have the music player daemon listed um, in your RC config file, you would have to start. Um, it it wouldn't start when you boot the computer up, so you'd have to manually start it. <coughs> and the way you manage services on FreeBSD. Um, is um, as root so I'm using Doris here but if you're using sudo it'd be sudo service um, music um, pd um, one start so if you don't have um, music pd in your rc config file you have to run one start and one stop to start and stop the service if you have um, if you've enabled the music pd um, daemon to start um, with rc.config um, file you would it will automatically be started but you would do doez service music pd stop okay um, I just press return quite twice there that's why I'm getting that uh, message but you do stop or start as opposed to one start or one stop so that's how you would start and stop the service. Um, and the other thing that you need to do um, is um, once you've once you've done that, um, you would um, run MPC update um, to update um, the music player daemon database. Um, so it would basically scan um, the music folder um, for all that music. So that when when we run um, the MPC client, um, uh, the the client application, all the music will show up from the database. Um, so what we need to do next is to set up um, uh, NCMPC. So I come across to the config file. Um, what you need to do, um, the most important thing is you specify the host here. And um, in this case, as say we're running a um, Unix socket with MPD player. So what we do is we specify the location of the um, the socket, which is in the .mpd folder in our home, and um, the port um, here. Um, and th this is basically the settings for um, the client I'm using to connect to the music player daemon. Um, so these are some of the settings you can go through. Um, I say the important one is just the one at the top. Let me just scroll through. So really, the only one you need um, is the host and port to get it going. Um, and then if I come across, um, this is um, the NC MPC client, um, and you can browse through. Um, and you can see I've got a lot of um, stuff that's um, high bit rate. And um, basically, what this setup allows me to do is. Um, it sends the audio through at this bit rate um, to my USB DAC. Um, whereas if I had um, not set the VCHANs to one and to zero and bit perfect to one, um, the audio would be down sampled, you know, be resampled down to <coughs> excuse me, um, 44.1 kilohertz. So um, you'd have all this high quality audio, and it wouldn't be coming out. Um, at the correct sample rate, it'll be you know resampled down. Um, so that's how you can um, set up um, music player daemon um, on FreeBSD with BitPerfect Audio. And um, 
the other thing that you can do is um, because it's you can just set this up, um, you know, on an old bit of hardware. Um, you don't need to install a, a desktop environment or anything. Um, and you can, with the Music Player Demon, you can actually, um, instead of manually having having all your music in, you know, in this music folder here, um, connected to this VBSD machine, um, what you can do is you can have um, all your all your audio files on another machine, for instance, a Windows machine, a Mac, or whatever. Um, and share share those files over SMB or NFS, and then mount um, that share to the music directory. So that make it easier for you to, because um, otherwise you'd have to have a drive plugged into um, the FreeBSD machine, um, and it, you know you might find it not as convenient to copy stuff across. I mean, you could SSH um, use SSH to copy stuff across, you know, SCP or RSync copy stuff across to an external drive plugged into um, a free BSD machine. But what you could do is you could um, use the FS tab. Um, so if I, um, etc. Uh, FS tab. Um, I don't actually have anything in my FS tab um, on this machine, but this is where you would um, put in the um, server that you were going to mount to the music directory so whether it's smb or nfs you could um, set that um, share to be mounted automatically to the music directory um, and then basically you'd have the free bsd machine um, just plugged into some speakers have the music mounted um, probably nfs is probably better than smb um, and then you can use a, um, a client application um, on another machine or on a mobile device um, to play the music. So instead of um, actually, you know, sitting at the terminal at the FreeBSD machine and you know running NC, you know, a um, a client application, you could um, use a um, desktop um, program. Um, let's have a look at the Music Player Demon uh, under Clients. Um, MPC is just like a command line um, application. Um, which I showed you when I ran MPC update to update the database. Um, NC MPC uh, is the one I just showed you. Um, and this one here, NC MPC PP, um, is a slightly more advanced um, uh, client. Um, it's, it's got other features like um, a music visualizer, tag editor, um, and other stuff like that. Um, and you've also got um, sort of web clients, so you can have um, web-based stuff. Um, Katana is another nice client for the Music Player Demon. And um, there we go, if I come down here. Um, it also, I think, lets you uh, add podcasts um, as well. Um, and yeah, and playlists and um, search. Um, the Katana is nice, but it's a GUI application as opposed to a terminal-based one. Um, it's Android, um, iOS, um, and um, Kodi also works with um, uh, Music Player Demon, Kodi, MPD. Um, Kodi has an MPD client um, as well, so you can use that to connect to the MPD server running on um, FreeBSD. Um, that's basically an overview of how you set up MPD um, on FreeBSD and set up BitPerfect Audio. And basically, quick recap of the steps were we had to edit our bootloader config file. Um, so that was um, bootloader.conf spell and the important things we need to set were here this um, SND HDA load and for the um, USB audio SND U audio load equals yes so that's what we need to set up in there and then in our um, except for was it RC config file um, 
at the bottom we set up um, music player daemon down here so we set that up there and then in our except for sys ctl is where you set the default audio device um, which um, we found you doing cat dev snd stat and you can see here this is the fifth pcm device so in our um, etc sysctl.config file um, we would set the hw snd default unit equals five and um, dev pcm five play vchans to zero which again um, sets it so that there's only um, the sound system only accepts kind of one audio um, audio source at a time um, so as I said if you're playing a bit of audio and you switch to YouTube it wouldn't play the YouTube video to audio um, and what you can actually do is set the as well as setting these in your CTL config file is that you can actually um, reset these um, on the fly as well so what you can do is um, DOAS um, sysctl so um, sysctl will let you um, alter these um, attributes that we've set in the sysctl.config file and override them so for instance here you can see we've got dev um, pcm5 play vchans equals zero if we wanted to set that back to three which was the default um, we do dev um, Dev .pcm five dot play the chans equals three, okay, and the same for the um, bit perfect audio. If you wanted to set that back, um, so um, to reset that to zero, we do dev pcm five bit perfect equals zero. Oop, I'm going to switch back to the right. If I type bit, um, you can see here the really, really nice thing about um, using FreeBSD is when you are setting these, is it's tab, com tab completion for all of this, bit perfect audio equals zero, and that will reset bit perfect audio to zero. Um, so that we needed to do that, and we had to set the music player daemon to load uh, at start, and again, starting the service. Um, So if the service isn't started and you don't have any RC config file, it's one start and one stop. If you've enabled it to uh, uh, to log um, to start at boot, um, it'd be you know like restart, restart, start and stop. So that's how you'd um, start and stop the service. Um, so I think that's pretty much most of um, the config and um, setup. But one thing that um, I, I will uh, mention is um, I found with using the ST terminal, um, I've actually had to switch back to um, URXVT because this was a bit of a deal breaker. Is when I start um, NCMPC, if I click, if I switch to this tab here, the browse, um, you see it comes up with all the music. Um, listed all the way down to the bottom okay all right if I now switch across to the ST terminal and then go to the same thing what you'll notice is um, it's cut off down here and as I scroll down you can see it up at the top of the screen um, those two entries are still highlighted for some reason and all this text is only appearing as I scroll up and down uh, and I've noticed this strange behavior um, and see as I switch tabs you see how you know stuff seems to be randomly highlighted um, versus um, just running that in URXVT So you can see the big difference in how that's um, working and I've noticed that with a couple of NCURSIS applications using the um, ST terminal um, 
which I haven't had with URX VT, so that's why I've kind of switched back because that's kind of a bit of a deal breaker for me. Um, but basically, that was how you can set up your music player daemon um, on um, FreeBSD and set up BitPerfect Audio with your USB DAC. And as I say, the sound quality, it really it is completely different than you get with other operating systems. It's just a lot clearer, crisper, um, things like cymbals um, and really uh, high pitched things. You can really hear the difference um, as opposed to, you know, using um, Mac OS X or um, Linux and using Pulse Audio or Ulta. Um, it just sounds much, much better for some reason. Um, on my USB DAC, I, I was really surprised when I got free when I started using FreeBSD, and it worked out the box with my USB DAC. Um, it's a FiO um, USB DAC and a high fidelity um, uh, box, which they don't make anymore, which can go up to like 192 kilohertz or something. And using FreeBSD, um, I've got bits of audio that go up that high, and it does actually pass them through at that rate. And I was um, really surprised about that and um, on Mac OS X um, with the same DAC same um, running the same exactly the same machine um, what will happen is a lot of the time you'll switch to playing something at say 88 kilohertz and then switch back to something at 44 44.1 kilohertz and the the DAC would get stuck at 88 um, it wouldn't shift across um, it wouldn't recognize the new sample rate it would continue out putting it at 88 or 92 or whatever it was um, so the, the USB DAC doesn't work as well on the Mac as it does on FreeBSD um, and the audio quality is much better um, and it doesn't actually take that long to set up FreeBSD um, and so the one other thing I had to remember was when you're searching for the music player daemon, it's not MPD or MPC, it's uh, music PD and music PC. So that was the other, that's the other really important thing that had me stumped setting up music and uh, the music player daemon on um, FreeBSD um, is the actual the name of the package. Um, but basically, you can just run the FreeBSD installer. You don't need to install a desktop or anything. You can just basically, um, you know, install some packages for, you know, Music Player Daemon, um, set up the bootloader config, RC config, and sysctl um, with the uh, correct settings as I've shown you. Um, once you've got that and you've um, then updated the Music Player Daemon database with all your music in it, um, you can then connect to it with, um, uh, you know, a terminal-based client or, a, you know, a, a web-based client or, a, um, I think you can also say you can use it on Android or um, iOS to connect. Um, so it's really easy to set up um, and um, you won't need to, um, you know, set up a desktop, as I said, um, just install the packages and get the sound card set up. Um, and once you've done that, as I said, you might want to um, mount the uh, your music, um, you know, directory from another computer to FreeBSD using the FS tab. Um, so you can, you know, if you come across into the handbook, um, the FreeBSD handbook, um, there'll be stuff about the FS tab somewhere. I would have thought. Um, FreeBSD FS tab. Um, this will basically um, give you instructions about how you, um, you know, mount um, a share, whether it's um, NFS or um, SMB. Um, but I think um, NFS would probably um, give lower overhead, use less power um, than um, SMB, and maybe easier to set up. But um, that you know, you can use either. Um, so you can use the FS tab to set up. Um, amount so that it's actually um, mounted to your music directory rather than um, plugging in a drive to your FreeBSD machine um, and you know copying the files across that way may be easier to um, just mount one across um, using SMB or NFS um, 
and then just have some speakers plugged into your um, FreeBSD box. And say so the reason why um, using FreeBSD is much better for this than um, Linux is because um, I've tried lots of Linux distributions over the years, Debian, you know, Ubuntu, Arch Linux, and they all have the same problem is that when you update, um, you know, something re related to audio or video, FFmpeg or some audio library, um, MusicPair Daemon just stops working. Um, Whereas on FreeBSD, it's rock solid. Um, you know, it's um, a very um, solid operating system, FreeBSD, and the the um, audio quality is far superior to any other operating system I've ever tried. And it's much easier to configure um, FreeBSD and troubleshoot it than Linux. Um, you'd think FreeBSD in Unix was harder than Linux, but it's not because with Linux, not only do you have to learn Linux, You've also got to learn another operating system, and that's System D. Whereas running um, FreeBSD managing services is a piece of piss. Um, you know, go as service. Um, if I can flip in type um, service uh, music PD one start one stop, or as I say if you've got it enabled, start and stop. Um, and you've got a single line in a single configuration file it is you know there's, there's nothing to go searching for it's just much easier to troubleshoot and figure out um, where the issue is rather than the, the mess that is system D that you know um, you know the other issues you have on Linux are a thing like net plan if you want to set as um, a static IP or um, you know, pulse audio, um, you know, this goes on. It's it's a hell of a lot easier to kind of set this thing up on FreeBSD. Um, it's got a great handbook. Um, it's rock solid and um, the audio quality is great. So that's how you can set up uh, the music player daemon with bit perfect audio on FreeBSD. Um, and I say this will work on um, older hardware better than newer hardware. Um, but if you've got a sort of old box hanging about, um, you can, you know, set FreeBSD up quite quickly, probably, you know, get this set up in less than an hour, have some speakers plugged in and then connect to, um, you know, connect your music and then, you know, have a handheld music um, uh, client on um, Android or iOS on your mobile device or um, a web-based client or use something like Kodi on the desktop. Um, there's lots of different clients that can use uh, if you come across the music player daemon site uh, you'll see a list of all the clients here